Shalom Wong. This is the brother Atazam Wambia from GMS South Carolina camp. I want to first and foremost give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom Wong to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity. All right. Uh, this this is going to be a short lesson. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, dealing with these female pastors and these female um, so-called prophecies, all right, and, and these so-called women of the Lord trying to teach the Bible and see what the Bible says, all right, all right, because that's that's a, that's a heavy trend now in these so-called churches, all right. Let's start out first with First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 it says be ye followers of me even as I also am of Christ alright that's what Paul said and let's see how the Lord dealt with that women alright thing let's get Matthew or is it Luke This is Luke 11 and 27. It says, And it came to pass as he spake these, these things. All right, talking about the Lord. He was preaching the word to the people. All right. A certain woman of the company lifted up her voice. So a woman, this would be a so-called Negro woman, lifted up her voice. All right. Loud so everybody can hear. And said unto him, speaking unto the Lord, said, Blesses the womb that bear thee and the pops or the paps which thou hast sucked meaning she was glorifying or giving the credit to uh, his mother Mary all right, or, or uplifting the woman let's see what the Lord said but all right, meaning but means contrary all right but he said yea rather all right, which that means another another word, you know, opposite of what she said. He said, "Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it." Okay, so that right there, the Lord he he shut that down. All right, so let's see. You know, see what when the Lord sent out his uh, disciples. All right. Did he send out any females to teach? All right. This is um, Matthew 10 and 1. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, okay, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. Now the name of the 12 apostles are these. The first Simon, who is called Peter, which is a male, and Andrew his brother, which is a male, James the son of Zebedee, which is a male, and John his brother, a male, Philip, a male, Bart Bart Bartholomew, a male, Thomas, a male, Matthew the publican, a male, James the son of Alphaeus, a male, a uh, Le. Le Lebias, whose surname was uh, Thaddeus, I, a male, Simon the Canaanite, which he was an Israelite that dwelt in the land of Canaan, I, because this word was sent and given to the Israelites, not everybody, okay? All right, Simon the Canaanite, a male, Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him, a male. All all the twelve apostles were men, okay? These twelve Yahusha sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Now that that's referring to the natural Gentiles. 
right? Because you have two types of Gentiles in the, in, in the New Testament. All right, you got the Israelite foreigners that was living, all right, in in the mindset of these nations following after them, which the Jews that lived in Jerusalem called them Gentiles, even though they were Israelites. All right, they was of the same people. They just called them heathens. You know, same way today when we see you Jakes out there being a bunch of niggas with your pants hanging off your ass. Tattoos all over your motherfucking body and your face, got dreads down to your ass. Uh, uh, these, these, uh, damn, these micro mini beards. If you even have facial hair on your face, uh, these cut up eyebrows, piercings every motherfucking where, gauges. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised you niggas start rocking lip plates. You know, these tight ass pants, looking like a bunch of heathens, man. All right, all right. That's what it means, all right? You, you, you Israelites, being in a Gentile mind state, but it's not talking about those Gentiles right here. That's talking about the, the actual other nations outside of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the, the real Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All the other nations outside of that are, are Gentiles, are the natural Gentiles, or heathens, all right? And the Lord said, when these 12 he sent forth, which all those were males, they weren't females, it was all men, not women, and commanded them, saying, go not into the way of the Gentiles. So don't even deal with these other nations, all right, preaching the salvation to them. And into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right, and as you go, preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, that's right. So the twelve were men; they wasn't. There was no females in that in that number. All right, that was sent out to teach. Okay, yeah, Acts chapter one. All right, so I mean, if you read the story. Or read the Gospels, you know what happened with um, what's his name? Uh, with Judas, the man that betrayed the Lord. You know he went and killed himself. All right, so they had to pick a new, a new uh disciple, a uh, a uh, uh, choose a disciple to replace uh Judas. Let's see, let's see if 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 a female was in there. Okay, this is Acts one and twelve. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olives, which is from Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey. And when they were come in, they went up into the upper room where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus and Simon the Zealot, which is the same Simon uh, the Canaanite. All right, which that was the Israelite, okay, that dwelt in Canaan, and Judas, the brother of James, okay. These all continue with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women, and Mary, the mother of Yahusha, and with his brother, okay. So you had women in the, in, uh, with them, all right, that followed the Lord, that believed in the Lord, but they wasn't teaching, all right. Okay. Verse 15, and in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the, of the disciples and said, The number of names together were about 120, men and brethren. Oh, okay, did he say, uh, men and sisters? He said, men and brethren, this scripture must need have been fulfilled, which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before coming concerning oh, excuse me concerning Judas which was guided to them to take Yahusha for he was numbered with us and had uh, uh, obtained part of this ministry now this man purchased the field with the reward of, of iniquity and fa fallen headlong he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out meaning when he hung himself 
from the weight of his body, uh, it fell, and when it hit the ground, you know, because when, when, when your body goes dead, 